Well, hello everyone, Larry back with you again. And what we're working on today here at the farm is taking down some trees. Uh, two reasons. One, the one that's coming down right now is uh, leaning toward the greenhouse. And I was really concerned about it, whether it just blew over or fell over and fell on the greenhouse or if uh, it were to break off and fall on the greenhouse. So that's the one we're taking down right now. Then in the background here, you can see this tree right here. And then there's another one, that tree right over there that we'll be taking down. And the reason for that is so that we can make room for our uh, addition to the shed that we're going to be adding on here. And since these trees are already leaning uh, toward the shed, I wanted to go ahead and get them down prior to uh, getting the shed started. And then also, these trees are leaning toward the greenhouse. And so I wanted to make sure that uh, we got them taken care of so that we wouldn't have any future problems with limbs breaking off and falling on the greenhouse. We already uh, have some acorns that comes off of these trees and with the little sharp pointed tips on those acorns, when they fall, they actually penetrate, make a little pinhole in the top of the greenhouse. So we'll be uh, getting those trees down and uh, got a lot of debris then that we'll be cleaning up, but uh, that's maybe for another day. We'll just get the trees down today. So uh, be sure if you um, enjoy the video today, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, maybe a suggestion, something that you uh, might have a question about. And uh, always, always, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're coming back and you're already a subscriber, I certainly do appreciate you being faithful to the channel here. It means a lot to us. So come on everybody, let's get started on getting some trees taken down today.
we ended up with so much refuse from the uh, trees, tops, and limbs and things that I just I just had to start piling it up behind one of the sections of the uh, Christmas trees back in the back. And I'll work through this uh, later as I get an opportunity. One of the things that I have learned in uh, having trees taken down, not only these, but some in the past, is if you're processing out the tree, if it's still standing, you start at the top and come down, and if the tree has been cut and it's on the ground, then you start at the bottom and go up processing the tree out and blocking the tree out. You can see from this shot the pile that I've got started in back of one of the sections of the Christmas trees. And like I said earlier, I'll uh, eventually work through this and either burn these or maybe buck up some of the wood that I can out of it, save it for firewood, and then just burn the leaves and things later.
might see it whenever they wedge against the tree like that. It creates a, a real hazard for the worker up in the bucket. He's going to have to now dislodge that some way, and that's what he's working on here, is trying to get that to dislodge away. If you'll notice, the rope above the limb is completely tied, and the limb is wedged against the tree. Creates a really dangerous situation for the worker. There it goes, he came loose. He'll now hook the uh, cabling, the other rope off of his boom to the limb and unhook his big rope and he'll swing it around here and let it down on the ground and I'll take the smaller rope loose and he'll be going back up there. What Rebel is doing here is attaching a rope to the top section that he's about to cut off of the um, tree and I'm going to be pulling this section as he cuts it off. He told me that it wouldn't take very much but I was uneasy about doing this because I was afraid I might slip down and the section of tree that he was cutting might go back toward him. I'm doing the same thing here on a, another section and you can tell that I'm uh, just a little bit uneasy and making sure I don't know if uh, I'll be able to pull that section enough to pull it down and so I take advantage of every uh, means of support that I can and in fact that's why here in just a few minutes I move over to this little tree to kind of brace myself and make sure that I don't fall or something. Uh, maybe the rock, uh, dirt under me slip, make me, cause me to slip, and uh, I was just uneasy about doing this. I'd, I'd really rather have fastened this rope to the front of my tractor. But Rebel assured me that it wouldn't take very much to pull these sections over, so um, that's what I did, and it seemed like it worked out okay. And so for those of you who think, well, that's not too much, let me just walk on up here and I don't know if you can see it in the distance or not, but we've got a lot of treetops and tree limbs over here on the backside of the, um, of the, the greenhouse. 
they will have to be uh, cleaned up also. So uh, got a job ahead of us, but we'll we'll get it taken care of eventually. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm going to wrap up this video. And as you can see from looking here behind me, I have got a mess now to clean up. We took down four trees today and uh, the, the tops and all the limbs and of course still got the leaves on them. Uh, really a monumental task now to get all of this cleaned up. But we'll work on it like uh, eating an elephant one bite at a time and eventually get this all cleaned up and then we hopefully will be able to get started on our uh, addition to the shed here behind us. This is where we're going to be adding on to, um, to that shed. So uh, I just want to thank you for joining us for this video today. I really do appreciate it. As always, if you uh, like the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, share it with a friend, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So this is Larry. Folks, have a great one. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.